Uh, cool. Uh, bismillah. Bismillah. Right, so, so, memory card clear, yeah? Yeah, memory yeah. card clear. Uh, <laughs> um, Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat, people. Uh, welcome back to Joloff after Juma. Uh, obviously, we're a bit thin on the ground today, but um, uh, alhamdulillah, uh, technology is what it is, and we've been able to get our bro Ibs uh, on via the phone because he's not able to come for reasons I will not disclose. He can disclose if he wants. Um, uh, but yeah, man. Um, what episode is this? 39? 39? I'm waiting for Ibs to correct me. 39? What is that? Oh, 39. Yeah, 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 yeah. cool. Um, boy, I haven't done this intro thing in a while, man. Um, socials, we'll get this out of <laughs> the way. Now, um, Joloff after drama on Instagram, JAJ underscore pod on the Twitter. In terms of likes and comments and subscriptions, I'm seeing that that's been steadily creeping as well. Alhamdulillah. I, I hope that's just not a uh, residue from Ustaz Abdul Wahid's episode. And I hope this is people listening to what we're saying. <laughs> I hope there's people listening to what we're saying. Um, but yeah, man, if you're new, obviously welcome. Um, where have you been? But anyway, you're here now. Jazakallah here. Um, and Allah will you for listening. And hopefully, obviously, you enjoy the journey with us. But yeah, do continue liking and commenting where you can. If there's anything of interest, if there's any time we say something that makes you say something to yourself or something to the person you're listening to, then there's no reason you don't comment it. Let's get a bit of a conversation started. Let's get the community kind of talking to each other um, and kind of, you know, corresponding on, you know, because, you know, um, it's good, man. Um, how are the man them? I'll start with Abdullah because he's here. How are you? Bro? Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. And Ibs? Oh, my family. Yeah, I'm how, good, man. Yeah, I'm alright. Uh, yeah. where, where are you? Are you in space or something? No, I'm at home. I'm at home. Um, okay. Yeah. Just having a lazy day. Alright, it's alright. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, man. Alright, cool. Um, I think Dola, you had something to say. What was it like a response to? Oh no, it wasn't. You said you had just something fresh or something that we were meant to speak no, on before. No. no. Oh yeah, I know, obviously. We, I know we promised the topic, so you know, let's deliver. Uh, black business. Yeah. 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 What was what was what was, no, was pressing just, on? It was that? just a. It was just a. It was just an observation mm-hmm. that I had in regards to what was it? Obviously, we promised to listeners that we would speak about it. Uh, then the last pod, but we didn't. So we're just revisiting it. Uh, I mentioned in regards to black businesses and how there's always talk and there's always commotion about how black businesses are not being supported and supported and whatnot. But this is not even a majority, to be honest. This is like, it's not a minority, but it's not a majority. This is like, there's a good 50-50 or 60-40 split of black businesses when you, businesses, Business. businesses, Business. <laughs> when you, when you, people say, oh, he supports the black businesses and whatnot. But at the same time, why must I, as a consumer, not not me per se, but why must the consumer have to jump through loopholes or accept nonsense in the name of spending their money with black men's businesses? If you want me to spend my money with you in the name of being a black men's business or whatever, at least match the competition. Cool, you can't match the competition in quality because you're not being supported monetarily or whatever but at least when it comes to stuff like customer service like it should be to it should be to a different level it should be to a decent level man how's man going to a good jerk shop man being treated like i'm the trash or i'm not talking about me per se again Mm. i'm talking about the consumer like man like it needs to be a give and take it's not a oh support black black businesses and then do you you get what i'm saying Yeah, I think... And... Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Oh, Ib's gone. I think Ib's had certain... No, 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 I'm not... I was, I was, I was thinking... I was going on. Um, would you say, though, that, like... I feel like the reason the emphasis is on support, support black businesses, support black businesses, I think from when you have to when you have to emphasise the need to support something because of the fact that it's black yeah. I think isn't that isn't within that kind of suggestion of 
in in that in that in that request to support, you're basically already accepting or or stating that Doesn't we need to, support yeah. because we are at a disadvantage. So it shouldn't be kind of. But if uh, you're at a, a disadvantage, easier, it should be a bit easy on them. Isn't that a reason for you to work harder? Yes. So yes. Why? Yeah. Okay, I mentioned customer service, which is just one aspect. We can go into quality, we to go, on, but there can be reasons to say why the quality might be dearer than if you go to a, a normal high street chain or what or whatnot or whatever. Customer service. Why is it that a lot of black businesses are known for having terrible customer service? Is this is this an actual fact though? This is a fact. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. What that is it an actual fact? Because we know about we know where, about where does know the, about, where okay. the, where does the stereotype I, I, I come from? I don't want to take the I don't want to use the obviously the the, the, the stereotype the Caribbean, come the Caribbean from? shop uh, analogy is obviously as well. But this is not. I was thinking of Caribbean shop, but this that's is not the, just. Yeah, this is not the just, only analogy I can think of. This is not just. This is not just the Caribbean shop. Though. Yeah. This is just. This is just that like we talk about. Uh, 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 um, maybe you know what? Actually, I just thought of another thing. Another thing could be that. As black people, we are hyper critical of our own. Yeah, that's what I was. Gonna, that's what I was going to say. That's what because I was if you look at, if you look at, I was just thinking that. So some people, uh, some people, I know of a case where there was t- two brothers that opened a restaurant. Yeah, and like opening a restaurant is is already hard enough as it is. Like yeah. there's a lot of stuff that go into it. But I know that, and as I mentioned, the Krypton, uh, the Krypton yeah, yeah. cons. Yeah. And if you look at the reviews, like up till today, like the the, the, the thing's been closed for. Is it closed? It's been it's been closed since I think COVID or something like that. So oh, they just before COVID, yeah. they haven't reopened it yet, and just still getting bogus negative reviews. And even okay, but if, even if we're not talking about neg- bogus negative reviews. Like this comes back to what we were talking about the other week in regards to um, the whole British culture of people being uptight when they see success. I feel like it's even worse in the black community. I don't know if that's just how, how, yeah. how I perceived it. Or yeah, because I think like like with that example you said with um, with, Cre- with Creps and Coons, like <sighs> you're gonna get nonsense everywhere you go, yeah. Like in terms of it's, let's say if we're sticking on rest, sticking to restaurants, yeah, you're gonna get bad things happen to you at restaurants. It's gonna the happen. Time. An example: just the last time I went to I went to a restaurant, yeah, um, and this kind of ties into another kind of issue, but we'll, we'll keep it as a separate thing. So there's a restaurant that um, me and my missus went to, to or got food from time ago, like time ago, and then we've always said oh we wanted to go back, we wanted to go back, cool. So then we went, yeah, and then it was like, I remember we went, it was like, let's say it was like 9.30. And like, uh, when we went, they basically told us, oh, it's like, we're closed, even though they're not closed. Um, so that was one, that's annoying. Like, the, obviously they're, cl- like, you know when they close the kitchen, but you know, like everyone knows with a restaurant, they close at 10, but if you're eating, you can stay till like 11 or whatever, while they clean up around you with that stuff. Because mm-hmm. cool. So then they were being a bit stush with that. Okay, cool. So we came back another time. And the only reason we came back is we like this place. And this place is not close to our house at all. This place is in Upton Park. Um, and we live in South. Um, went back again, yeah. I remember we ordered a drink, yeah. Um, like a mocktail. And I think I ordered, um, I ordered, and obviously to this day, we don't know if I'm, I'm right or wrong. I ordered, Mrs. She wanted a pina colada version, obviously. Uh, and uh, <laughs> just in case. Um, and um, I don't even know what order this it is. It means like non alcoholic, is it? That's what virgin means. Virgin means non-alcoholic virgin okay. of a, yeah. So, so pina colada obviously is. Yeah, anyway. And um, bougie people there. Yeah, yeah. Like I told you it was for my, me, I'm drinking <laughs> tap water fam to balance the books. <laughs> um, <laughs> can we get a jug bro? Um, uh, yeah, I didn't, anyway, they get, and then they came and they gave us a mojito in it. And I went, I was like, oh, this is, and I said, no, nah, this is not what we ordered. Then they came back, no, nah, this is what you ordered. Um, and no, obviously, that's there's, terrible. obviously there's some no but obviously another thing is there's no, some that's not acceptable no there's some when it comes to the, the waiters obviously this is a basically, basically like a freshie it's a curry like a curry house in it but it's like so there's there's obviously the ones, there's the staff there so in terms of the people serving the drinks they, there's no point talking to them because obviously the English is a bit higgy and all that stuff in it so so so, so, when, so exactly so when I looked so when I looked over at the so I just got up and went to speak to the to the 
like you know the front of house woman like the, the boss basically and she was like oh and she was the one who took the order off me innit she was like oh this is what you ordered I was like no nah, I ordered a I ordered a um, I ordered a um, mojito I mean I ordered a pina colada mm. she was like no you ordered a um, mojito I was like I don't think so because none of us like that drink why would I ever order this drink she was like no no that's what you ordered and I just said you know what in fact there's no point us going back and forth because at the end of the day I, I don't know innit Maybe, yes. maybe, maybe yeah. I did, it? Maybe yeah. I did. But at the end of the day, this is obviously not what we what we mm. wanted. Mm. Change the drink. And she was like, ah, oh, all the drinks are made to order. I was like, first, I just thought, okay, I know where this is going. I just said, are you telling me, so are you telling me that you're not going to replace this drink? She, and she said, she said, all the drinks are made to order. And at this point, obviously the way I am, I'm one of those people that, I know I don't see it. Or anyone that, people that know me, kind of know me longer knows that I can argue in it and I'll keep arguing. So I just said, and, and this is, <laughs> it is laughing. And um, the, uh, my wife, she obviously, you know, don't make a scene. Yeah, you know, yeah, don't yeah, make a scene. Yeah. No, that would have been right. embarrassing. Just leave it. Yeah. Just leave it. All of that nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. All of that. All of, all of those, uh, all of those valid opinions. Yeah, so, you know, before, be before careful. I know I have to be, be I have to be careful. <laughs> to your missus, I, I, did, I didn't say, I didn't say edit, that. Edit point, edit was... point. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So, like, <laughs> so, she, so, so, um, I, and I did this. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm not going to make a scene. And especially that another thing is obviously we are in, we are in, Bay Upton Park. This is uh, we're in Bangladesh. Yeah. Basically, we're in Bangladesh. Isn't it? Mm. Or yeah, so like be careful. Yeah, it's not, you're not even a careful. It's almost like no, no. You be careful. Huh? I'm telling you, be careful. Yeah, be careful. My wife's from Bangladesh. <laughs> what? I did. Yeah, I was yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. Watch words. Like, yeah, yeah, so I was in Abdullah's <laughs> wife's back yeah, garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. Uh, <laughs> correct that. Not back garden. Back palace. You back palace. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. My one of our aunties was telling me that my I'm joking. So um. Yeah, so the so so I'm like you for, for obvious reasons you don't want to make a massive scene, but at the end of the day I'm like I, but I'm not a mock. So my my thing is I said okay how can I deal with this situation? So I said okay cool let me I just said okay I took the drink I, I gave I gave her like you know when you give someone a stern like a look like so you're not you're, so you're not replacing this drink. You're better, cool. Man, then man. I took I took the cup and I walked back to the thing and then I basically I looked I'm not her, taking I, the cup. Huh? I'm not taking a cup. I'm saying no, actually, in fact, sorry, I didn't even. I didn't, I didn't when it comes to paying, I'm I paying did, I, for what I. I ate. didn't bring. I didn't bring the cup anyway. I didn't bring the. Cup. And then if she says I'm take, I'm not taking the payment. You're paying what you owe. And then I'm walking I, out. I'd, uh, my plan, my plan yeah. was okay. My, okay, I, at what the end I of the day, do, I haven't paid yet. So yeah. who's what? who's who's got paid. more to no, do? I don't pay. If I haven't paid yet, paid. you're taking that drink back. I can't remember. But my plan was to just leave it. That yeah. was my plan. I think I hadn't paid it. My plan yeah, was to leave it. I reckon it, I hadn't yeah. paid My plan was, but obviously I knew. Me for saying that my plan is to leave. I know that uh, the missus, she's, she's going to... Nah, I would have given my missus say. the keys. Get, go to the car. <laughs> so, and um, the so, um, so I'm just like, I'm like, I, I just went back and I, and I said to her, I want to leave this restaurant, you know, and I hadn't sat down. Then obviously at that point, the, the, the woman came over to me oh. and was like, and I kind of expected this to happen as well because the way I left her, you know, when you like the look I gave. It's the type of look that you know it pits the real fear in somebody, and then I, I, she and she could probably see the side of, of my face in it. So I'm like, um, I'm basically telling her, oh, boy, I think we might have to leave this place. And anyway, then they, she says she comes over and she's like, okay, well, sorry, I'm gonna replace the drink. I'm gonna replace. The drink. Okay, that's cool. what that's but, what she's supposed yeah, to do. Um, yeah. And but, but but anyway, I say all of that to say this, but if that was a black restaurant, and I was black, obviously I'm black. There's a lot of people that are gonna say that service is a joke, blah, 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 and use that as a way to bash no, the No, if she didn't correct the bit, I would have said that's typical ethnic minority business and that's, that's, that's not acceptable. Is it? But that's, I, I think if that, I think that's the kind of thing. And that, even if you think of, think of it from a business point of view, look at how that worked, worked out. You were ready to walk out. If she did not yeah, come, you would yeah. have walked out and she would have lost out on money. I, I think people are more likely to think, yeah, that that was due. But I think as a black person, and if I told that to 100 black people, I think them, they're more likely to say it's racism than they are to say, okay, oh, this whole, is what I whole, mean about the Asian whole racism. Businesses. No one's going to say, the whole, oh, see Asian yeah. No one's going to say that, innit? So if it was a black business, I reckon yeah. people are going to say, some people, a lot of people will say, oh, see, this, see, these black businesses need to do better. Whereas if it was, a, now it's an Asian business, people are less like, they're not going to say Asian businesses mm-hmm. need to do better. They're probably just going to say it's racism or they're just going to say racism, one of those yeah. things or that woman was a waste man. Do you get me? So basically, my mm. point is, my long rounded point is that mm. basically, is it just easy to say it's because they're black that this is nonsense? 
is it because it's a black business and that's, use that as a way that's to tarnish not, black That's not business. the reason why I'm saying it's, it's, it's I'm saying, I'm, the reason why I mention this is because it's a recurring pattern. Like I said, why is it that whenever we think of, not, not, not whenever we think of, but why is it that there's a typical, okay, cool, you could have said it was, you could, you could say it was Caribbean, but when you think of, I was speaking to somebody about this the other day, when you think about, especially online businesses, um, the ones that you see on, uh, what do you call it, Instagram and, um, I don't know, Facebook or whatever, yeah. where people, or people have websites where they, businesses where they post the links to those businesses on social media. Yeah. Why is it that a lot of the time, the, 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 the reviews and whatnot are always negative? Not always, but most of the time are negative. Is and, that, is that, hey, it, it, it's a comment. It and again, it yeah. could be, like I said, uh, 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 ethnic minority is being um, hypocritical because it's not just us, it's not just in the black community but I'm speaking about what I know from mm. and we always took we know we know how difficult it is for first of all for a business to 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 to, you know, to, yeah. to, to run let alone a black business Go what ahead, are you going to say Ibs? I don't to be honest I don't know if I I don't know if speak clearly though your point of can you hear me? Yeah, just make sure you're enunciating them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I necessarily agree with your point of us having to accept members and the people to say um, support in black businesses. Because mm. I the, only, the only stereotype I can think of is, like you mentioned before, is the Caribbean shop. I've never personally. Who made that point? Me or. Me, me. Oh, okay. It was one of the two of you. I don't really go to a lot of Caribbean shops, so I've never personally experienced any. Any bad bro, bro, bro. Let me let me let me let me stop you there, bro. Speak, speak. Is there any way you can speak clearer, or speak into the mic, or wear headphones yeah, or something? Hold on. Right. Is that better? Can you hear me? Yeah, that's better. That's a bit better. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I was saying I haven't actually. I don't, I don't go to many Caribbean restaurants in it, so I've never actually experienced uh, bad uh, bad service in Caribbean uh, shops myself. It's not just Caribbean but shops, though. I've, that, that that stereotype does exist. I'm aware that, that stereotype exists that uh, Caribbean shops have, have very, very bad customer service. But, but Nigerian, um, Nigerian shops are for me, bad customer um, service. They as well. do or they do? They do. Nigerian? They do. You say? I mean, again, I don't go. To, I don't like saying these things. Yeah, that's my experience. Oh, yeah. is it? But is but, it? Is oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, go on, sorry. The point, I'm, the, the point I'm trying to make, the point I'm trying to make is. Um, maybe I don't necessarily agree because maybe I don't visit a lot of black businesses and when I uh, have why are you support why are you not supporting black businesses if you don't support it. black businesses that what we're confirming can I confirm no, that's not, what you're like saying? I said when like I've just said when I have visited black businesses I've never had an issue with, I've never had an issue with customers so, 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 so. in that sense the only type of when I hear to be honest, when I hear the thing when I hear the phrase support black businesses the one the, the one kind of most example that comes to mind for me is like hair shops if you notice most hair shops are run by people of different 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 ethnicities and in that yeah. sense that's where that, that that's that's what always comes from when i hear of that because for me if i'm going to support a business it has to come down to quality if you're if, if what you're if you're providing a quality service then i'm gonna i'll visit you again but if not regardless of your ethnicity I'm not going to visit you if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, whatever you're selling or whatever you're giving me. But see, see me, yeah. see, so but, for, for me, yeah, that's the bit where I was, it's kind of what I was saying at the beginning. I, when I think of support black businesses, yeah, or support your friend's business or whatever, <laughs> to me, if I'm thinking, if I'm doing something under the, if someone says to me, tells me support black businesses, which is something I think I generally kind of accept. And I remember I've had this conversation with one of my, one of my boys as well, like one of my, um, one of my non-Muslim brothers as well. And it's like, it's, it, 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 at the end of the day, yeah, it's like, I think you have to, as I, for me, as part of supporting black businesses, for, if, to truly do it, not true, yeah, to truly do it, you kind of have to accept that there's going to be pitfalls, pitfalls in, to it. In a, in a, for example, you may have to pay more. For example, yeah. let's go back to that hair shop example, yeah, or like, yeah. So pay more is fine. Hair shop. So if I'm buying yeah. beard oil, for example, yeah. at the end of the day, a day, is not going to get the same deal that Kumar that owns five hundred shops because they're higher overheads. Get. Exactly. So it's it's so at the end of the day, in order, the only way that like that we're going to see all of these 
um, you know, beauty shops or whatever. And that's be fine. It owned by, say, be it owned by the same amount of black, black people and we're going to dominate the high street and we're going to be selling to our own people as it, obviously it, shall, it should be. Is if at the beginning of it, people take the L in certain sense that they pay more, they travel further because there's less of them. That's yeah. the only way you're going to... Yes, if that's not, calm. Yeah, if not, then you're just kind of paying the lip service. That's calm and cool. In that scenario where you said, what, Kuma and Addis, cool. They, they've both got the same product, same customer service, same everything, same distance away, cool. But you just pay, you pay, let's say, £10 more for the same product than you pay uh, at Kuma. But that's the same, same distance but is not possible though. Okay, further distance, whatever. That's calm. But... And that's nothing you can control. But when yeah. we're talking about customer service, quality, uh, uh, quality control, all of this stuff, that, that why why on earth but would I pay ten pounds more, yeah. travel further to be treated like crap, to buy a product that, fair enough, the quality can be less, yeah. but there's a difference between the quality being less and the quality being trash. So with customer services, the there's, beca- there's two sides to customer services. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. There's personal relationship relations or like interpersonal like communication there's that and then there's other branches so for example i would tie in i would tie in this might not might not necessarily be true or factual mm. but i would tie in i would say asos for example mm. has sick customer service even though i don't really ever need to talk to somebody or i would say amazon has great customer service do you know what i'm not makes amazon customer service is sick because whatever Amazon just throw money at, if I say Amazon, if I if I imagine I could open this, I could buy a PlayStation, open it, play it. What about five, Apple? Play Apple it for five, have terrible customer no, service. Fair, that's different. I'll play it, play it for five days. I'm, I specifically mentioned those two examples. Mm. Play it for five days. Put it back in the box. Tell them I don't. Tell them oh, it's uh, it makes a loud sound. They will not ask questions and they will send me the money back. They'll even send me the money back before they even um get the part get the PlayStation back. Yeah, I know. Uh, ASOS. Yeah. Um, the fact it's the ease of the ease of returns. That, that is all. I would encompass that under customer services the same way I'd encompass if I need to do like a live chat or I need to call somebody because I need to talk about the product. The product. Mm. At the end of the day, those are two separate things, but they're probably, when people think of customer services, they probably branch it all together. However, one of them is a lot easier to facilitate when you have more money. Nah. So like, Amazon I don't, I don't can think, only do that because I think, they're rich. I think money same helps. ASOS. Money helps. And this is a basic yeah, so in there's no Money excuse. helps, yeah, yeah. but money doesn't, money doesn't make it. Money doesn't, Money doesn't, you can have good customer service without having to literally bleed money. It is possible. But you know, most of customer services that's done by like ASOS or Amazon is, is robots doing it. It's not even people, but it's still customer, do you know what I mean? Right, and, and it's, it's, it's going to be enough, hard. Enough, like, imagine yeah. like saying, we'll go back to Adi, that's dealing with, that Adi is, Adi is front of house, back of house. It's, it's not an it's it's part, it's, that's, part of, that's part of running a yes. business. It's going to yeah, be yeah. difficult, but that's part of running but, a business. But that, that's, if you want people's yeah. support, you can't treat the people who are who are literally paying for your business to run like yeah. you. So, so the you one thing it. I won't excuse, I, will, I think you can never excuse, is just rudeness or that type of thing. Rudeness, uh, un, poor empathy, that type of thing. But I think we have to... What, okay, if you're not happy with something you get from... If you go, I don't know, O2 or something, you or you go or you go, go to a comedy show or something and, and you think it's dead or you think... But you're, no one's going to complain. But when it comes to... Krypton Cones, for example, mm. if people people use their chest to complain more about Krypton Cones than they will to complain about Benny Hanna's, even yeah. if they found a few dead because it's Benny Hanna. Do you know what I mean? I Which think is, it's because it's more closer to yeah. more closer. Yeah, to, so it's fami- so I think familiarity gives yeah. people the feel makes people feel like they can just shoot their mouth off. Yeah. Sometimes, not always, yeah. sometimes, and, that's and it's I said, not necessarily fair. That's why I said as people we can be hypercritical of our own. Yeah. But if we're talking about, like I said, I didn't mention ethnic minorities in general. If we're to, I think one key example I thought of was like a lot of, not even just sisters only, like I was going to mention sisters only fitness, but like sisters only or just just niche things in general. When we see how they're done, especially in a Muslim community, let's just say, let's just, let's just stick with sisters stuff, sisters only stuff in the Muslim community. A lot of it is done shabbily, like shabby. Like mm-hmm. if we're talking, mm-hmm. like I mentioned, Sisters Only Fitness, if you look at a lot of the Sisters Only gyms, terrible. But yet we're meant to, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Do you see, do you see where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. Do you know, that's, I would say there's a, what's a bit different about that is sometimes when people are on the only people offering something, it allows them to take the mic. They shouldn't. It, they shouldn't, but it, it, it happens. Like, And how does that link back to black businesses? 
Yeah, it's same. It's it's it's. it's the, okay, the, with black businesses though, there's two sides to it because there's black businesses not, that are providing a black service, and then there's black businesses that are trying to provide a black alternative to a normal service, which is two separate things. Wouldn't you say that's wouldn't you say that's similar to, for example, uh, women's only fitness? Uh, uh, that fits them in providing the, yeah, them providing a service that is halal, no music, whatever. Yes, yeah. if you're gonna do something, do it. Okay, fair enough. You can't do it to your full capability because you're limited by resources. But do it to an acceptable level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Do it to an acceptable level. I and just that's think, that's I, where the issue is. I just think what what is it what who, what is acceptable? Because if if the business is trying, okay, if a business is literally taking the mic and at the same time screaming, support me, support me, support me, which is what is happening. A lot of the time, half yes, the time. Those not, are the, one, not those are the ones that are. I feel. Uh, I can't lie. I feel like you need to be, you need to be specific because I, I, I'm, I'm struggling. The reason why I'm not talking a lot is because I'm struggling to understand what you mean. So I feel like you need to be specific. What exactly are you talking about? Where are you seeing these examples that people are screaming support black businesses, but they're doing trash? Because I don't see it. I don't know. I can't think of an example right now. Uh, let me give you. Let me. Let me give. Let me drop an example here. And I don't. Okay. And this, okay, let me give some hypothetical examples and I'll, I'll ask it for both of you. Do you feel that you should support this? Cool. So yes. do you use, do you use, um, Ibs, do you use um, bid, some type of, some type of bid or yeah? Yeah. What, what, what product do you use, if you don't mind saying? Um, I use, what, as an oil? Yeah, that, yeah, that, what, what, what oil I mean, oil? Huh? I use a bunch of different ones, but from my from my shop, use what? So I get I use, all of these different. I use a bunch of different oils mixed together, but they're all from one shop. Is it like those kind of glass bottle type oils? Yeah, yeah. Those ones that I like, and yeah, like the yeah, I know when you're like argan oil, jojoba oil, all that stuff, coconut oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the glass, like, like yeah, the glass oil. Yeah, like like oil, yeah, all from yeah, but they're all from one place. Yeah. Yeah, cool. But they sell them in different like hair shop type things. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. Uh, so and you what you put into like a squeezy bottle and whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. see that squeezy bottle, like, cause I, if I, am I right in saying each bottle, of, each bottle of oil is like what, like around four pound, five pound each, or three pound to five pound each. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So let's say you use like four oils, and then you can make about five containers worth of your spray thing. So one bottle costs like five pound. Let's say six pound. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Uh, yeah. Dula, do you use yeah. something? Uh, like a specific something or do you just use whatever <laughs> like a regular. I use Cantu okay cool so you use Cantu I use I, well, it changes so before let's say before this one I'm about to say I used to use um, oh, what's it called hey, hey, Jehation do you know that bottle that has like the flag on it the, the black bottle you get in hair shops as well it's called Jehation or something and it's um basically um, what's that oh, that, uh, that everyone was saying put on your beard before uh, what's that black seed oil no not black seed the one that would bait oh every, uh, oh, castor oil, castor oil, castor oil. Castor oil. Yeah. yeah. So that's about that was about six. That's about six pound, four pound, five, four, five, six pound. Cool. So uh, let's say me, yeah, I Abdul Malik, I release a, a, a beard oil slash beard grooming company, yeah, and it's you know I've obviously I'm a pharmacist, so you know I've I've done research. It's I've got it cos cosmetically tested, and I've actually this is a quality scientifically proven to be good for black skin and black beard hair type blah 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 cool um and you know good quality packaging everything's good cool mm. and it costs 25 pounds for a bottle that's the same size as whatever you're using mm. i know cantu is a bit bigger in terms of the size of the thing but think of it as like it's five times more expensive yeah mm. Ib, same question are you buying it Say that again? are you buying it so it costs it costs 25 pounds per bottle i think it depends on the situation of the consumer the average consumer. I mean, probably not. I'm asking for you now. Probably not. You're not. Not if it's five times more now. Why? Because some people and just can't afford to it. spend. It's me that's me, and this is a it's a proper business, isn't it? It's a proper like it's packaged properly, everything. And I'm selling it. I'll ship it yeah, to you. Yeah. If I've seen like is it one bottle or is it like ten working, bottles? Then yeah, I'll buy it. You'll buy it. Yeah. Cool. Would you? Uh, me personally. Yes. However, I could argue well, that. And I obviously, I'm, assu- I'm assuming you'd all try it, and you've tried it, and you like it. It might not be, you know, 
it's not changing your life, but it's it's. If I like it, I buy it once and every once every while. Because this is what I do in general. In, in anyway, myself, I'll buy like one of that, and then the next three purchases I make, I'll buy what I used to buy for like six or four pound or whatever. Anyway, and then I'll buy it. when I'm, okay. when those three are done, then I'll buy. It. I'll buy it once in a while. Yeah, but I'm not going to buy it all the time because Ips. it's just not financially yeah. feasible. Ips. If it's something that works, like I said, if it's seen positive reviews and I can see something that works, then yeah, why not? Cool. And there's a I'm lot of people. Saying, However, I'm, I'm, yeah. I can understand why people won't buy it because it's five times the price. If it was twice the price, yeah, okay, cool. That would make sense. This not even they don't even have to think about it. Yeah, because it's more accessible to the average consumer. Yeah. Like who who's the person who's going to buy the product? Yeah. It, we're not talking about a car here. We're not talking about... We're talking about... And it's only twice the price. However, again, it comes back to what we're... F- okay, say, for example, it was a, it was the same product, but you're charging £5 more, but there's no packaging, but the product bangs. Yeah. I'll still buy it. That's that's the packaging is is that that could be said that okay cool you haven't got the funding yet you haven't got the resources yet to yeah, yeah. to to sort out good packaging but that will come later. Do you not think he's cutting corners though a bit? No, okay, because because you, because okay, the product's you, still good. The product is people, still of a decent you quality. People, would you tell me, bro? You need to pack the packaging. Of course, okay, cool. that would be that's constructive yeah. feedback. Yeah, cool, fair enough, fair enough. Now, that's acceptable. That's that's perfect. That's good. It's just started up now. Say. You've got the correct packaging, or you haven't got the correct packaging. Whatever, the, the 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 product is okay, but I send it to you. I send it to you. The bottles used, or the bottles, yeah. the bottles recycled, and they haven't even bothered to whatever. Yeah. And then I call about that, or there's some stuff in it, and you're just like, yeah, it's what it is. You firm that, bro. Do you want another one? Ah. <laughs> uh, Ibs, um, I asked you already. Did I ask you already? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, so, so yeah. okay. So, okay, second scenario, because that was a bit easy. Second scenario, <clears throat> it costs a couple more, one pound more, yeah, two pound more. But it's either, it's like, but the product is meh. It's either like the same as what you're doing now, or maybe even just like, you probably even prefer what If it's the same as what I'm doing now, or you no probably even prefer, probably, or, or actually, in fact, you prefer, you uh, overall, if it wasn't your boys, you'll pro- you'll probably prefer what you were using before. And it's like one pound, two pound more. If it's one pound, two pound more. I will get what I was doing before, but just a lesser quantity, and I'll get more. If it's the same quality as what I'm using before, then I'm again it's one pound or two pounds. Ibs. No brainer. What well, if it's my if it's my boy and it's only a couple of pounds extra? I'm sending it at seven pounds, but you prefer your you actually prefer your current uh, regimen. Does it do the job? That's the question. Not as good, but it does the job. But not as good. It still it's does still, the job. It's feeling, feeling a bit. Yeah. Feeling yeah then, 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 then I'm then I'm sticking to my own one. I'm sticking to your one. But you said it Listen, does. Yeah, Listen, we we we, 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 we slightly we slightly had this <laughs> we slightly had this conversation before. I'm I'm sorry, but it sounds bad. But I'm not inclined to support something that's bad. Just for the case, just for the point of supporting, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I'm short changing myself. Yep, 100%. I'm short changing myself just 100%. by supporting something that's bad under the pretext. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So this is my point. I'm going to give you yeah. criticism and say you should do this, this, and this to improve it. Mm. And then if you make those improvements, yes, I will happily be a customer. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not going to short change myself and spend more money just to support. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. That's 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 so, the, so that's, for, that's so, the point. So black businesses basically, um, aside from it hating them, the only way you should really, you should only like, the, like basically supporting. Let's not black let's businesses, not say all black like, businesses. Support, I said, no, but as in supporting black, being an avid supporter of black a lot businesses, of them, not, not. shouldn't be at the detriment. Shouldn't be at your own detriment. Yes, to run. yes, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be so, on detriment, I think, I think, but in all set in all facets. I think, do you know? What no, yeah. not all facets I think, because. I think, there's some stuff that can't literally cannot be controlled. That like you're literally this, when you say support, distance. you're support. The reason why you're supporting yeah, them is exactly. because you're going through this. Exactly. But what you're going through shouldn't be. It shouldn't affect the product. Yeah. It shouldn't. It shouldn't affect 
your experience yeah. with the company because exp- what experience yeah. is yeah, yeah. in certain cases it's I free agree. i agree why why should that be harmed yeah, i agree i agree so anyway 66 percent of this podcast is a uh, is a uh, anyway yeah. uh, <laughs> what was he saying 66.6 <laughs> recurring yeah, yeah exactly you go on into what he said <laughs> <laughs> Go I on, think, uh, Edward. I mean, um, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah to be honest, <laughs> As, <laughs> you might be right. Actually, that's slightly <laughs> anyway. You know, yeah, you, you might be right. The reason that I'm, maybe I'm not agreeing with what I'm going to say is possibly because maybe I've stopped being yeah, black. Um, black because, because of this exact reason. It's possible. Yeah, it's yeah. possible. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to lie here. I'm, 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 it's, it's self preservation. I'm sorry, it's self preservation. I'm not going to shortchange myself just to support your business to say I've supported it. If it's not good, if it's not good, like I said before, regardless of your ethnicity, I'm not going to support it if the quality isn't up to standard. That's it. And I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think that's a bad thing. If there's two people that are offering the same service and maybe because you want to support your people, maybe you go a bit further, fine. Fine. But if the quality is lacking in one area... Regardless of your ethnicity, I'm not going to support it. And that uh, is what it is, isn't okay, it? Okay, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Point was, yeah, man should have to jump through hoops just to say I'm supporting your business. If it's traveling further or paying X amount more, whatever, but the quality is the same or the quality is more, cool. But if man has to deal with inconveniences that I sh- that I shouldn't have to deal with, then no. Do you would. I think Matt okay the only thing I'd say is so is it possible for black people or black black um, businesses so black um, entrepreneurship black businesses as a whole Mm. to be able to reach the level of let's say our friends in North London of course black businesses do it all the time our friends in in, in, let's not talk about black businesses but I mean as in in terms of to be for that black people to be as economically strong in terms of business owners like yeah. so like to the point you know how how asians are with you know like peck and Mariah and all these type of all the high streets and when you go when in terms of um, big business like investment firms money for anything monetary obviously hello on that but um in terms of how you know the the kind of uh white slash you know quote-unquote jewish community is yeah mm. like can that can that happen and that, it is obviously this is in the west Basically, can that happen yeah without people firming firming it basically firming it yes, do, do because it, it does happen because would you let's, let's not talk about black happen. business like black businesses are a charity no, but case. i'm talking about yeah but you know but you know how like i'd say that not the standard i'd say the standard, start of struggling there's there's no yeah but i'd say the standard for so like there's how many asian owned butchers are there some butchers are whack but they because of the fact that there's just they just have the power the generational clout to be able to just sustain businesses like that that it doesn't even they can get to the point where they can still be comfortable and successful without the quality even being that sick well, that's, that's that's why i say that as black people we need to know where where we haven't got resources and we need to yeah. work harder to counteract that as we see we we know there's countless how many black successful people yeah. around us Should, you, you ask each yeah. and every one of them did you have to work harder to get to where you are 95 percent of the time is going to be yes yes we need to know where so, so areas of our how, lives that i'm, I'm, I'm and, talking and about how do you get to the stage here where for black people you don't have to work harder than everybody else because that's because that's, that's yeah because so, so, so but i think don't, don't say that sorry Ibs. that's a that's an entirely different conversation yeah. um, but isn't it but isn't part of the answer so isn't part of the answer kind of just you just basically shoehorning making sure that black businesses thrive so basically just almost chucking money at black businesses it's so that isn't, isn't they are gonna, strong enough and no, they are no one's enough. gonna chuck no 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 no, one's, no, one's no, no, I, I, no not at all I, I don't agree with that listen yeah, <laughs> in, i think in bro, in in business yeah that's not our last and, words, and, and this, this is this is this is not me speaking from like, like maybe I, I'm, I'm not the one to talk about anything but I, I, what i basically believe is that it's your quality that, that, that speaks in it. Yeah. If, if if the quality is the product, your business will thrive. Like. And if it is, and, and if it isn't, then it won't. But if till but today, but the word can, of mouth is, the, is still say, the strongest method of marketing. You have to work harder than everybody else. On one hand, but then also say, but if you're good, you will rise to the top. 
And the, the, those two, the, aren't those two... They're not contradictory. Not, they're, aren't they contradictory? They're not at all. They are not at all. When because, I said... Yeah. Go ahead, Ips. I'm just thinking that, that, that whole phrase that black people have to work harder is that really prevalent in self startups as well? Self startups. Is it? Uh, actually, you might be correct. Like if you're starting your if you if, if you're depends, if you're starting your own business. Because a lot of the time, you know, I say that because a lot of the time, if I'm opening a nail shop, I probably don't have to work as hard as Tracy does from from uh, from Bognor Regis. She probably has to work a bit harder than me to 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 make a nail shop bang than me than me and Warford. However, generally, we're talking about you know that as well as the mass that as well as the fact that when you're selling a product or a service. The quest, the mm. first question that is going to be asked is not, is the person that owns it black? Is it a black business? No one's going to ask that. No one, in, yeah. in, in, some, maybe nobody might ever ask that. It's, again, like we said, when a product's brought to market, it's how good is the product? That's it. Mm. That's the, but that's faceless. I guess, obviously, we're, we're, we're blurring the lines in terms of there's, there's faceless type of businesses and then there's uh, paid customer facing type businesses like a restaurant, like a, like a yeah, shop, like a, yeah, you're, a right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I yeah. guess. Yeah, you're right. So you're maybe right, in yeah. terms of if you're opening, but then I guess with in terms of faceless businesses, like I don't know, some sort of tech firm or something, there's gonna be. Oh, sorry, I've done a tech firm. Um, there's gonna be issues with um, you know, who you know and connections. You know, connections but again, that's that's somewhere. not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't right. know, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then on the other side, you also have black people as black people being hypercritics instead of being hypercritics where you wouldn't be if it was a normal not normal but if, if it was a non-black owned business what we could do again is provide further um uh, what do you call it um cr- constructive criticism mm. in those scenarios rather than going on because you know that it's not helping but you know what can help which is price which is also which is priceless and also costs nothing constructive criticism mm. If you can't help, then there's no, there's no, there's no help in, in leaving bogus reviews, negative reviews, and, mm. and 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 tarnishing one's brand. Where especially in scenarios where it doesn't, it doesn't help you. It doesn't help them. If you ain't got something good to say, basically. Yeah, no one's saying if you've been, if you've faced a negative experience, don't write about it. Of course, if you want to, go ahead. Like you're within your within yeah, your rights. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not talking about those situations. I'm talking about a situation where, for example, the food was bad, mm. and then, like, you can go to any restaurant and eat bad food. It could be a bad day. It could have. They could have just brought in a a, a chef that wasn't that wasn't used to the kitchen. Blah blah blah. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe you had fat, bad food at this black restaurant. Mm. Whatever. Instead of saying, "Oh yeah, the food was bad," and. There, there was a spider on the blah blah blah, and there was a blah blah blah, and just making stuff up. Just, just cool. give, give your taste and go. Rather than, does that make um, sense? One, yeah. One thing I want to say very quickly is I just I actually just want to kind of throw it out to the audience. Yeah. Um, I feel I think what I said about quality being um quality being the kind of determining factor. In the success of your business, I feel like that might have been a little bit dismissive of a people that may have struggled. Dismissive, you said. dismissive. Okay. Of, of people that may have struggled yeah. um, in their businesses because of because they were black. So I like to throw it out to the audience and say, if there is anyone that has experienced any type of specific struggles because they were black in starting their own business, I'd love to hear about it because from what I know, yeah, I'm speaking from an ignorant point of view. It can, so yeah. I'd love to hear about it, innit? From Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To, just to add to that, I can understand how that could be difficult as well, especially when it comes to, like, seeking yeah. funding. Like, there have been studies that have shown that if you're black, you're less likely to get funding solely based on... I mean, we spoke about this the other, week, mm. the other month in regards to uh, flipping, renting a house. Mm. Like, mm. renting, renting. Like, I was trying to rent a house and just solely because of my name. I wasn't even getting views. I know, I, know, I, so, I, I know this one weighs very, very heavily on you. Nah, but when I talk about the stuff that I was going through uh, towards the end of last year, this was part of it. Like, imagine having a baby coming on the way. You've got the money to get a yeah. house, and you can't even get viewings. Like, you can't even. No one's. No one's. Like nothing. You've got the money. Like the money's there, but 
for some reason your money's cheaper than everyone else. That one, that one there was tough. But yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so this stemmed from last week when we were talking about being book smart and being just intelligent, just being an intelligent human, mm. just being having common sense. As we said last week, as we concluded, common sense was not so common. So obviously from that, uh, I had two people ask me to talk about or to discuss um, whether you needs to be or an end or one of, one of whom is actually in uni currently, actually. And it wouldn't be fair for me to kind of just leave it, me being me, just be like, yeah, yeah, uni for me is crap. It's good to get, a, as someone who's, who's formed a career from going to uni, I'm, I'm correct in saying you wouldn't be where you are now without going to uni. Yeah, 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 definitely. Exactly. Would so. it be legal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, one, one, one thing. One thing I want to sorry. And you sorry, as well. Sorry, yeah. yeah. One thing I want to say on this topic is, um, yeah. Again, like like you were just saying, Sadman, like it really just does depend on 100%. the kind of course you're doing industry you want to go into. Of yeah. course, it depends. Um, another thing I would say is, no, uni is not the be all and end all. Um, but in some cases, again, depending on what you want to go into, unless you want to be someone that's self-sufficient, unless you want to um, start your own business from the from, from from the jump and run your own business, if you're if you're someone that's typically going to work for someone else, whether or not your industry needs a degree or not, um, uni can be helpful with no. with, with um, having a degree, just kind of helping you get your foot in the door. I think a lot of, I think people, people can judge you by looking at your name. They won't even read your CV. They can look at your name yeah. and, and your name not being John Smith or typically white name and, and they can get rid of your CV. Yeah. So just having, just having something on your CV that kind of certifies you and say that yes, Makes I'm an NGF person, I'm qualified. That, that can help you get your foot in the door, whether you're going to need that qualification or not, it's something to back you up. Because like we just had a conversation about black people needing to work harder. Mm. It's something that can help you get your foot in the door. So again, unless you're going to be someone that's going to work for yourself, I think it's something that can 100% benefit you and it's not something that should be just trying to be for you. Because no, it's not the be all and end all, but there is 100% merit in going to university and having a degree. Um, our parents didn't drum it into us for no reason at all. There's wisdom in it. 100%. There's so, wisdom in it. Yeah, I mean... 100%. Why do you disagree? What I would say is, again, like I've said, 100%, it depends on what you want to do in the future. If you want to jump into a... Even if you... I was going to say if you want to jump into a medical profession, but I know nurses that didn't go to uni. What? I know nurses hmm? that didn't, didn't, didn't go to uni. They, where, where are they nursing? Please in, tell me in, which one. In Namib- Namibia. <laughs> they did. So they I did can a, just, so they did I a, can just avoid them. What? They did. They did a. What? They did a night course. Um, I can't remember Please, where they did a night course. They, they might not have gone to conventional uni, but they would have had to go to some sort of. No, I'm. So, maybe, what? maybe like they went um, to a night school. I don't know. Girl times and that. Like, maybe I don't know. But oh no, this is my auntie, bro. She did a night school at at um. Can't remember if she did it, but I don't think she went to uni. Okay. Is she definitely a nurse or a healthcare sister? She's a nurse. Uh, I don't know about that one. In a hospital? (laughs) No. No, because you could be nurse in a GP, you could be nurse in a a care home, you could be nurse in a... You know what, I'll find out and then I'll I'll say next next Hmm. pod, but I'm I'm 90% sure she didn't go to uni, she went to night school. Unless she did it. She did a course. Before it became... And she works... Unless it was before it became... Uh, no, this was... This was... Uh, five years ago? Within the last five years? Boy, I'd might have to cut that before... before yeah, they call, cut that. Before cut. they call her into the office. <laughs> nah, nah. Um, um, anyway, you can go yeah, just in uh, case, but... Nah, 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 don't worry. Um, what I was going to say yeah, was... Go on, go on. I don't think you need to be... Unless you're jumping into the medical profession or law. Yeah. Uni or some other or some other industries as well that I haven't mentioned. You uni's not the be on an and end or in mm-hmm. in many cases actually, 
Mm-hmm. For me, my personal opinion, my personal experience is that uni is a waste of money. That's just me. It's a waste of time and money. That's just the way I see it. Like there's, there's okay, okay, there's... and look, and this, this is why I started off saying what I was saying. Yes, because yes, we can all agree that you need to be all and end all. But what I don't want it to become is just a thing where people say, yeah, yeah, you don't need to go to uni to waste no. time. Because in a lot of cases, it isn't. Yeah, because there's a lot of people talking nonsense as well, saying, oh, you need not to be an end or look at Richard Branson and blah, but they always bring up Richard Branson, uh, Alan Sugar, and what's the other one? Yeah, and I I don't want to lend myself to that narrative that you need because it isn't. Regardless of whether you use your degree or not, again, like I said, even if if you don't use your degree, it still has merit. It will, nah, nah, nah. will still get your foot in the door in some places. No, nah, I don't agree with that because there's some useless degrees out there. There's a lot of useless degrees. Do you, do you out there. Know, there's something that. Um, there's a lot of useless degrees. There's something that um, Taufik, Taufik always says, yeah. Um, big Taufik. That's been on the pod before, mm. episode eight or whatever. Um, who, go watch that, obviously, for the new people. Good episode. Um, da, 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 where. And it's called Nigerian Correspondent. Um, where he always says, yeah, that uni. The good thing about uni. And I agree with this actually, is that what it does is that within just having the degree, it shows a demonstration of certain key skills. Of applying yourself. No, of, yeah. Mm. But so does a beat, but, do, but so does an apprenticeship. No, of certain, I said certain key skills. So the ability to commit to something, because it's three years, the ability but so does to, an the ability to, um, to add, add, obviously depend on the degree, to do complex complex tasks so there's an and to be and to be uh, and to, to be able to be formally assessed in a variety of ways which is what often so there's an apprenticeship I don't and think, it also that's provides a form, formal assessment experience. apprentice doesn't give you formal formal assessments in a variety of yeah, ways. Well, anyway to my knowledge some of them in a, okay maybe, to be fair yeah, maybe if, if you don't do depends but, on and, and this is not Again, this is not a, on the this is not um really. this is not a tip for tat this is not me saying uni does this and other things don't do this but what I'm saying is that uni is, is, is it, in a piece of paper in a way that's very easy to understand demonstrates an ability and the thing is because most of the time not all the time but most of the time the people who are going to be if you're, if you're talking about like a job type scenario or getting some sort of role most of the people who are going to be recruiting you especially when it comes to higher up are probably going to be higher educated so there is a mutual and it's almost like a language that you can because they've done it they can understand what it takes for you to have done something. And this is not me saying that everyone should go nah. to uni. This is, not me, this is not even me saying everyone should go to uni. But I say that's one of the things that uni does. And the second thing I think it does as well, or the second thing that reason why I think it's important for majority of people to go... <laughs> nah, definitely let me, not. Let me, definitely let me, hold not, 100%. On, hold on, hold on. Because the, at the end of the day, the majority of people, yeah, majority of people are not the type of people that are going to be the ones that are going to be the business owners, the ones that are going to uh, go into a trade, work for themselves. That the, most people are not going to do that. Yeah. So at the end, so the way for most people to protect themselves from their lack of uh, maybe business acumen, uh, self kind of self. I don't want to say self drive because that's almost like saying if you work, you don't have self drive. But if you know what I'm trying to say. The like the people that don't have that because the, it's just a different skill set. If they do not flop, if they do not achieve what they think they might achieve not going to uni, then at least they have a fallback or at least they secure themselves what? a certain amount of a wage or a certain amount of a certain job or a certain position. Because that if you sacri- if you don't do the uni thing and you're not the type of person that's adept to you know, working for yourself, being determined no, enough to no, make your own money, no, being determined no, no. enough to start your own business. If you're not that person and you don't go to uni, then what are you going to do? <laughs> nah, nah, let's not do what that. What are you going to do? Let's not do that. What? Because, because there's, listen, you can go, you can go from, you, there's plenty of ways. Let's not do that as in, if you don't go uni and you're not and, business, and nothing, there's no other way. That's, no, the, that's and not and correct at thing, all. And the other thing is, when I say uni as well, yeah, well, I'm not, well, I'm, I'm basically including any further, so I'm basically including apprenticeships. Okay. In that. Okay. In what okay. I'm saying. Okay. You're okay. you're do you're you're you're, okay. you're, ed, you're qualifying yourself to do something. Cool. I not you, just to so go you're to just school talking about a school either, basically. Yeah. Okay. No one's here to talking about a school either. I think. So I'm I talking think, about doing something after the age of eighteen. Okay. Cool. That's what cool. I'm saying. Cool. 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 Okay. And whether that's an apprenticeship or uni, which because apprenticeship is basically just a different form of uni. It's just uni, just a different way. 
Yeah, but it comes with mm. uh, it comes, and what we what is not discussed a lot is the 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 um uh, the advantages that stuff like courses, apprenticeships bring. Like, see, like nursing, apprenticeships see like nursing as a uni course. When you that come is based in an apprenticeship. It's just because it, you spend most of your time in the hospital. You yeah. spend more. T- you spend about eighty percent of your time yeah. in the hospital. Yeah. So that nursing, for example, is a uni degree, but it's based in an apprenticeship. So yeah. so it it's to me it's neither here or there. It's just. A it brings world. real life work experience. Yeah. It brings real life situations. Yeah. It brings life. Sk- you learn a lot of life skills in a job, yeah, and so, you learn so. about what you're going to do for the next ten years. So, so that will yeah. also. It sounds like you're, it sounds like you're more in favor of apprenticeship than uni. I am. It depends what you're doing. Okay, I am. Fine. If I could have done that's that, fine. I would have. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. It depends on what you're doing. And because there's a there's a reason that you need more. If I wanted to be, there's a there's a reason that you need more. There's a reason that you need more widely accepted. It's not like it's it's not like that way or something like. There's a reason why. Do you know the reason why? Yeah. Because because it's been pushed yeah. that it's been pushed for many years that uni is the the uni is the be all and end all and uni is the way forward not and you, necessi- without not, uni not, you're not like, necessarily. Yes, it has. Not necessarily. Yes, it has. It, whether we talk about whether mm-hmm. we talk about upbringing or whether we talk about society. When you say push, who's pushing that? Society. It depends on it depends on what you're doing. If you go Bermondsey, they're not pushing that. Nah, 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 if you go Bermondsey, they're not pushing. From school, you're told that. If we can't talk of them, they can't hear a minute. Go on, Ibs. Go ahead. It depends on what you're doing. It nah, depends nah. on what you're doing. Nah, nah. An, apprentice, an apprenticeship will be more useful in certain courses than others. Do you most people do know what they're going to end up doing up when you they start do working? An apprenticeship in medicine. You can't do an apprenticeship in medicine. In what? Medicine. Of course not. Of course not. You can't do an apprenticeship. We've unanimously what? agreed so, that. So, 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 right. So, so that in itself proves that it depends on what you're doing. Yeah, but I'm talking about if you're not going on a field where uni is required. And I've said that from the start, haven't I? And if I haven't, then I'm making it clear. If, yeah. if, if, okay. if I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about degrees where it's specialized. Where, for example, dentistry, uh, uh, okay, uh, radiography, so, so like you're so doing. What about like um, consult, like people that work in people that work in finance, consultancy, people that work finance, in like definitely, oil, 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 definitely don't oil, need people to that go. work in oil and gas, for example. You don't need to go. People that work in yeah. What about what you don't about, need to go those people that? Huh? You don't need to go uni for that. People. I don't think you don't. I don't think. Or, you or even people that work in for or like. I don't people think that work you, in tech uni. Uni yeah. again. Uni will. I think uni may be an advantage, but you can get that same advantage, or you can still get into those fields without going to uni. You can, yeah, but that, that, so this was then this and, goes back and, to and, and, and if, yeah. if you don't get the advantage of uni through going through those other avenues other than uni, you get the other adva- you get other advantages that you wouldn't get with uni, like for example, experience do you and know, learn do you, and, do you, and, do you, yeah. and not only stuff that would benefit you short term, like uh, the knowledge that you would get from uni, but other but uh, more importantly a lot of other benefits that will benefit you long term. Do you know what? And I stuff think, like this not yeah. being discussed and not being said is what angers me just as much as the people that say, oh, Alan Sugar went to, Alan Sugar yeah. never went to uni and, and, and Boris, not Boris Johnson, um, all these other people yeah. never went and they're fine. Do you, because, yeah, do you know what I'd say? What I think, I think I would always generally, like, and this is my general, before I've met you, before I've spoken to you, my general advice, general advice would be, uni is probably the best, it's probably best to go uni. But on top of that, why, and nah, this is nah. something that I always say, oh, and I said, remember I said general, this is not me specific to any yeah. case. What I'd always say is that the best thing, the best combination is going to uni and also being very, very, very proactive because people sometimes, and this is the, oh, this is nah, the other nah, side. Most this, people who this, go to this, uni this are proactive. Mm, ah, know. did you say? Yeah. I think they're not. This is, and this is the, really? uh, this is the adverse side. People that just go to uni, uh, or people that go to uni and think that having the degree is enough or the degree is somehow a license to be able to get a six-figure job. No, it doesn't work like that. So, and p- people like of to talk, not. and this is what I don't like, and this is kind of the other side to what you were saying, that just people talk about going to uni as if going to uni just turns you into like a robot and while you're in uni, you're in a three-year time chamber and you're not allowed to, you're not even allowed to leave, you just go to the library, you go home and, you, and your life stops. No, when you're when you're in uni, you should still be working. You should still be doing. You should, you should still be Fine. doing. Inter, you should still yeah. be widening yourself. And going, there's no reason why, unless you're doing the maddest course, and even the maddest course, because I did a mad course. 
doesn't stop. You should still be able to be a functional member of society doing different things, widening yourself. Yeah, but, so why can't I, but the question is, why can't I be a functional member of society? Why can't I be learning on a job while, doing, while also studying, doing my apprenticeship? No, if I'm not, if I'm not, I, if I'm not, if I'm not trying to do something in an industry where a, I don't, I don't a like degree comparing would further apprenticeship in it because they they provide it, they they're almost for different things. It's not about comparing; it's about choosing no, one or the other. Know, yeah. I'm talking I, about no, but I think yeah, I think the same thing. Yeah, go on because at the end of the day, we're not talking about where if we're talking about years before where. We're, t- we're talking about getting young people into huge amounts of debt. We're not talking about years ago where uni was a grand a year and whatnot. Yes. We're talking about yeah. doing degrees, which has been drummed into, a, which you don't need to do, which people have drummed what, into what, one head. You, you can't say don't need to do without context because some I'm jobs, some, some, this, okay. a lot of jobs. If I, if I haven't said again, then I'm repeating yeah. again for the, it's for very the, difficult for the, to get a lot of jobs many, without, without degrees. For no, example, it's not. Yes, it is, bro. It's, it's difficult hard, to get a job even with a degree. Yes, exactly, exactly. Even with a degree, but do, do, in, I'm talking in a general sense, sense where we're not talking sense. about we're talking we're not talking about a job where you're trying to get a job in the industry in the healthcare industry. Or I'm, that, not talk, bro, I'm not for the healthcare. Push that to the side because that just doesn't. Mean, okay, then if we're really pushing, and then if we're pushing that to the side, and everything I said is justified. Everything I've said is Cause at the end of the day, like when, when I think of when I'm thinking of all the people that like uh, let's say all the people that we know and they're doing good job, I guarantee that. Most of them, most the majority of them, having their degree. I'm not yeah. saying their degree is the reason they got their job, but it makes it a lot easier to. And having right, the experience and not, as well not, makes it easier. Yeah, but not having the in fact, having, having the, experience gets yeah. your foot in the door. Having the experience and working in the area already helps you build exactly, connections. And this is what I'm saying. But yet, so, people talk like going to uni inhibits you from getting experience. It doesn't. And if that if that person going to uni doesn't have experience, then it's on them. No, Cause, cause, no one's, it's on them because yeah. uni uni. Most courses, the most like, okay, my course was generally four times a week, nine to five or nine to six no in, in the classroom. Course. I know, no, no, course, I'm, you had no, to and, no, and what okay. I'm saying is this is the worst of it. So nine to six, and then obviously Wednesdays, you know, nine to one, nine, nine o'clock to one. That was so, and I still had time to work in security, to do work here with the, with the mosque, do youth stuff, to do all the other stuff. So, so, do it, so there's no way that someone could tell me that if they've yeah. gone to uni and they don't have experience, that oh, it's because I went to uni, I don't have experience. No, so, but it's easy to. But when people say, oh, Fair no, enough. don't go uni, it's a waste of time. No, there's time going to uni doesn't mean that you don't have time to do other things. You do. Fair enough. No one's disputing that. What I'm saying is, why would I do that when I could do that? All of what you said, yeah, pretty much all of what you said, and save the 30 grand and also build other skills and create a, create a further path for, for other advantages to, to take on. That could benefit because, me because in a the long chances, time. the chances are, and this is just maths, the chances are the job that you're gonna apply for mm. will probably say degree a degree at two one or above. Not and really. that is and that's not just really. the cold hard facts of it. Not yeah. really. No, it's the chance really. it's not wisdom all the time. And another and another and another thing is and another thing is and another thing is for a lot of jobs, there's a, in a, a lot of jobs, they don't just focus on degrees. In fact, the degree is just like a chick, a checkbox, yeah, and even that exactly. checkbox, if it's not ticked, they might look at other stuff. They might, that might yeah, they might. That might. So why can't? You, why can't? Why? Why? Why take the risk? The, the, why t- why take the risk? So you I said, stop, stop, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. very quickly. I, I need, I need to go. I need to go. All right, cool, yeah. no, worries, no worries. Any bit, sorry, come. Yeah, sorry, come. All right, fine. Yeah, why, why, um, why take the risk? Because <laughs> everything, there's nothing, there's nothing you've said that, um. I don't think there's anything that in, in your kind of career plan that you've mentioned, mm. I don't think there's any reason why you can't do that without uni. Because more time, when they want experience, like... Yes, but that's not yeah. what I'm saying. What I'm saying is why... You're saying why... There's nothing that I could have done there, blah, 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 without, when I could have done at uni. But mm. what I'm saying is why do I even have to go through uni? To, why can't I just save the money? Why can't I just... Like, I'm getting into my, myself into a huge amount of debt. Yeah. You, let's not act like uni take doesn't take a lot of your time. Uni takes a huge amount of your time. It, in periods, I'm, in periods, yeah. Not, I'm doing not, all of that. Yeah, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? Let's 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 factor, let's yeah. build this on me, right? Yeah. Let's build this on me. So yes, I went to I went to I did A levels, further maths, maths, economics, mm-hmm. and um, uh, computing. <laughs> got mm-hmm. an F in further maths. Got a <laughs> got a B in maths. I got an A in economics. Fantastic, don't worry. <laughs> 
and I and I got an A in computing. Yeah. So if we're to if we're to go, I went from there. I went to uni, got a first in uni, and then what I've applied. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. I've had I've had some experience working, some yeah. experience running businesses. Yeah. Did I I applied for jobs? Yeah. Did I get any? Yeah. So what's 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 your point? The, 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 the one the old, yeah. the one job that I did yeah. I was called about that job based on nothing to do yeah, with my yeah, degree I know, I know I know what job you're talking about I yeah. didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't an IT job yeah uh, I did an IT job um the car. sorry I did an IT degree oh, I did a computer see. science degree yeah. where did that get me that benefit me I'm talking about myself as I'm putting myself in uh-huh. this case study uh-huh I can there, think, there, I can there, think there, of there, there are there are many science okay Two of which grad schemes or or go or go, have gone into some sort of tech company tech work, where the pathway from going and this is not and none yeah. of me this is not me saying they couldn't do what they're doing without uni. What I'm saying, what I'm computer saying, science, I could have done a course. Yes, I found out years yes, later yes, that I could have done a simple yes, course. Yes, yeah. No, but what basically fast tracked me? Yes, but learned more real world skills. Learned what I needed yeah, to do on a job. Yeah. Probably we, learned a lot. Yeah. Of, probably like side stepped stuff that I didn't need to learn yeah. and got to the same place. Okay. If I was going to, okay, if, if that was the be and all end but, all for me. So, so you did, so for your, in your case, you're saying you didn't need uni and that, that and that's true. I definitely fine. didn't need yes, you uni. You definitely didn't need uni. I'm not disputing that. I'm not actually disputing that. So how many other but, people in my shoes? Cause but, it's not, yes, this is yes, not, this is yes. not, it's not going to be a minority. How many other people, how many people that are like, exactly like you or, or like you didn't go to uni but didn't have the other aspects that you have that have allowed you to get where you've gone what, that are what going has to be, done for me that, has that are going to, to be stacked, that are going to be and no disrespect to this because it's a it's a it's a um halal way of living and there's nothing wrong with that um but it's obviously it's not a career that people want to be doing long term most people anyway right. are going to be stacking shelves because of the fact that they didn't go uni because they don't need uni how <laughs> whatever, are whatever. you doing this huh? how many people have gone uni got a degree got a, it's got yes, a sick grade yes, and are stacking yes, shelves yes exactly yes if, my, my, even my if we're just to look in our friendship okay, circle, yes. how many people well, are doing security well, and stuff? Yeah, and I've got I fine, know. fine. My point, my overall arching point, because so, I, I really I don't like getting bogged down in examples, because I always believe that there's an element of people being able to work harder than what the, to be able to go further than what their state ex quo. There's what their what if you look the at average. them if you look at them on paper what it suggests that they should be doing. Yeah, but cool. Like their but life is we're, we're talking about employment. People, yeah, you are looked on on paper. No. That's you. You yeah, all you are is a piece exactly, of paper. Exactly, and that's my point. So and yeah, do, no, the the, no. the thing the other uh, example I mentioned of going through the other route, going through life experience and apprenticeship, for example, whatever. You're not just a piece of paper. I'm, you're I'm known. Included, I'm There's included, a face I'm to you. People I'm know including, your name. I'm People know you from somewhere. I'm People know you've got a level of experience. I'm including the principles. Okay, go ahead. Made my point that I'm making. I just think, yeah, that when it's that thing. Remember when it comes, and remember how I said this. Remember mm. what I said time ago. I said when I'm talking to the. Majority, how many teachers are there that I haven't? I, I said when I'm talking to the majority. Yeah. My my general mm. advice, mm. if I don't know you, I don't know anything about you, is going to be you should probably just on percentages, mm. probably. Just go to uni because nah, I'll never tell you to because, go to uni. or slash apprentice. I'll ask you first. Because, what are you trying yeah, to no, do? But I'm talking about I don't have a person. I don't have a. I don't have a name. I don't have a person to. Then I'm not giving. I'm not telling a man to go uni. This is just general because of the. Fact, I will never tell a man to go uni because of the fact. And I'll never tell a man not to. Yeah, because of the fact. Because of the fact that if you are not the type of person that is able to get out there and do, then that not not having those attributes coupled with not having any type of formal or yeah, formal uh, assessment of your capabilities, i.e. An, a, a certificate of completion or apprenticeship slash a, uh, a, a higher education course, then oh, at the end man, of the day, the you're just, where, where are you going? You don't have the drive to get up. You don't have the drive to do anything out of the ordinary. Wait, uh, and wait, by, wait, and wait, you, are you talking about an apprenticeship? No, I'm talking about somebody who has, somebody who has not done anything in terms of, so they left, uni, they left school at 18. I'm not 16. talking about somebody who's left school. Yeah, but, but, but what, what are we talking I'm about? Talk, I'm talking about an apprenticeship. But, not, but, not, but bruv, apprenticeships are only available in certain types of in certain types of um uh industries. industries yeah. So then, what? 
What? what? If you, an apprenticeship is only click available. On, click, click apprenticeship now. See how many pages are. I don't, yeah, I'm not saying it's not in, in everything, but I'm saying it's only in certain types of... It's only in, in certain... In most industries, you can get a, an apprenticeship. Okay, cool. And remember, I've, I've never denied that an apprenticeship is... Yeah. is but, but, but... Yes, there's but some places you're, that you're, apprenticeships you're the, can't you're the get you. And there's some person, place... You're the same person that's also said yeah. that at the end of the day, not everybody knows what they want to do. Yeah. And what did I say about the good thing about degrees it shows that you're able to apply yourself to different skills so, well, so does so an apprenticeship more, no but i i would say and and a and and, and this, this is fact a a degree in a something in general let's say like something like economics politics it's something a degree or history a degree in nah, a degree in that that a degree in that if you don't know a, what you want to do in the future a I degree in that is a lot more widely transferable than a, a pre, than an apprenticeship in insert trade here in uh, construction it's more transferable it is you can take that around the world into so many different things whereas your construction apprenticeship Listen. it's not going to it's not going to carry you Listen. in as and it's not saying it's not going to carry you, you further mentioned it's not going to carry you, you in as many places you, you mentioned construction there's one thing that in my opinion that, there's, there's one thing that when you mentioned construction that yeah. that brought my head to, that brought into my head a story of one guy that I know he went into construction he went into apprenticeship now he went to do as we got a couple of friends that are yeah, yeah. quantity yeah, surveyors yeah, yeah, of course That's to, do, to be a quantity yeah. surveyor you have to go uni do you? yeah you have I to go uni you, know, you, have to, but yeah. you have to I think it's to get a RICS or a, a qualification yeah. that you need to do it cool. he he didn't know what he wanted to do that, but he knew he wanted to be around like Slim's as, as uh, let's cut that cut the name yeah. well, certain man we know are civil engineers he's, and he's been on the pod and said he's civil engineers as well. okay yeah. so he knew he wanted yeah. to do something yeah. along those lines but he didn't know what to do he's young whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. he's older than me but at the time he was young he didn't know what he wanted to do then he saw content surveyors he, he's like okay cool that's what I want to do mm-hmm. found out he needed to do, he, but because of the experience and because they know him people know him and he's done such a good job and he's mm-hmm. Earn a, like he's earned a lot of mm-hmm. like he's he's got to a high level in a, in a hierarchy mm-hmm. of his company. They paid for him to go back to uni part time and mm-hmm. study the course, and he eventually got the qualification that mm-hmm. he needed to. What, wait, what's the point of the story? So you need to go to uni to become a <laughs> That's the point I've taken. Not from. really. How did he get there? <laughs> I'm joking, but that's if you follow his story. I'm, how I, did he get I, there? I, I don't. I'm joking. So what I'm, I'm joking, saying, but I'm saying that. If, but you know, in your story. At the end of the day, in your story, and this is not even me saying that, yeah. but in your story, the person who did yeah, to okay, do, he went to uni, but yeah, where yeah, did he start yeah. though? Huh? He started through an apprenticeship. He's at the end of the day, he's more on paper, he's more desired because he's got the real world experience yeah, yeah. that he's got. He wouldn't have got be able to go to uni and get that degree if it wasn't for the. And at the end of the day, he paid zero for it. Yeah, but he didn't waste okay. 30, 30 grand on the degree. The day, that didn't that, do we, nothing. We can't use we can't use Listen. anecdote, and that's why I'm avoiding personal stories, isn't it? Because you can't use a story. I'm using them as a case specific. Studies. Okay, you can't, but you can't really. I don't. The reason I'd say when we're given it, because we're talking to the camera, we're not talking to a person. Mm. I'm trying to be as general as possible with it. You can't, be, ge- you can't somebody, be general. Obviously, somebody's. Thing. You can't be. Obviously, you can't, someone's. Nah, you can't. I'm trying to be general, but still apply it to. That's why I've said. Nah, for example, okay. if someone. That, that, yeah, that's no, why I said I will discuss it on the podcast because nothing, nothing, this nothing, was asked to me, and I can't give general advice. Nothing in my advice suggests. That you should just blind. I've never once said blindly go to uni. I've never said that. I've, nothing I've said has suggested that. Yeah, that's what I'm against, though. That's that's why I'm. That, that, that's why. I'm being. Yeah, cool, fair enough. All, all my my advice has basically been because of the fact that yeah, but what, we we can deal with the specific situation. We can talk about that one. That's one. But then at the end of the day, when you're talking to look, here's what I'm disputing. If, if with we you. talk, if we call, if we just give adv- talk to one person, yeah. Then that can be misconstrued, and, and I'm that's not dangerous. To one person, no, I'm saying, I'm not no, but I'm saying this is why I'm giving, I'm making sure I'm saying, I'm saying okay. general thing. Because cool. if you sp- say something or based on, it's like if you, someone else says advice, for example, and we talk the about the reason why I'm so passionate about this is because I don't want somebody really to apply, go. People can take it and as the rule of thumb or our opinion on it, which is which is dangerous. Go and carry on. The reason why I'm so passionate about this because I don't want somebody to listen. I, I don't want a lot of youngins listening to this to go uni and waste their life, waste three years doing nothing, wasting their time paying for a useless degree that's not going to do anything for them because I guarantee that's where I would be if I was relying on my degree because it hasn't done me yeah, anything going to uni and another thing relying on your degree though that's what, that's what I'm saying though. I was no, yeah but that's you that's what I'm trying I to mean, say generally. sorry I wasn't but yeah exactly but the only, I'll tell you something the only reason I went uni yeah. 
was to please my yeah. parents. But you can't it. talk as if everybody is. Cause you can't, look, would you say you're a driven person? Yes. Cool. You know, most people, you know the drive, you know the drive here to start, for example, your own business or to do multiple businesses and home about it is not something that's in your everyday person. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not. That's what I'm saying. Be careful with the whole don't go uni, do your own thing. No, do, because no, no, if no. somebody I've is made, not, I've already made it clear. Yes, for those I, listening, I, 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 I've I'm already not made it you clear. haven't made it clear, but I'm just saying be careful because... No, no. This, this, yeah. is, this is what I'm disputing. Yeah. So this is... Let me, let me get this correct. So what you're saying is we're not saying everyone should go uni. But what you're saying is if you don't know what you want to do, then your best bet is to go uni. Not, because your, best, it not, will your, get, best, not your best bet is to go uni. Then what are you saying? If you do not have a clue what you're doing or what you want to do, then go uni. Then what uni will do for you, yeah, is that firstly it will give you time. One. And I know what you're gonna to say to that. I'm listening. It will give you time. Yeah. And it will give you the opportunity to earn a qualification that allows you to do to apply apply yourself or put yourself it depend obviously depend on the degree you do in multiple different sectors. And this is, once again, putting aside your medical, pharmacy, audiology type yes. of degrees. Cool. Yes. Those, those, are the, those, are, those are the two most important things it will give you. So it's basically, you're not killing time. So to the point where, if something, if, you're do, if you find out you want to do something else, then you will not fall completely flat on your face or you'll never, first, you'll never, end, sorry, I'm, I'm waffling. You'll firstly, you'll never be in a situation where not having a degree holds you back, like my man with the with the um, and obviously it's a specific degree, so it's not. But it didn't fit. hold him back. It did okay, not hold okay, him back at all. Okay. It didn't. It he didn't was, hold him he, back. He was but already. It, he was a. He he's been. Imagine starting him, as an apprenticeship yes, 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 and getting no, to a high it, level but, in your but, company. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the fact the fact is he couldn't do the job that he wanted to do without doing the course. That's that's what I'm saying. But he that was, you no but, he, but no, but there's certain there's gonna be times in life. There's certain things. Bro, he was doing what he wanted to yes, do while but, he was learning. But there's to certain the course, things, so that, it didn't hold him back. There's, some, there's certain things that, a certain time where some people will tell you you need to. It's just a fact of when you look at if you go on Indeed dot go on jobs whatever that sometimes you just need a degree. Sometimes you do. So that's it's, what it's written. So it allows you to t- okay, full fair. There will it, be concessions made if they know you. That's a fact. Yes, but that's specific. I'm, I'm oh, forget not, specifics. Yeah, but it, look, at the end of the day, let, it's let's not specific, it, yeah, but bro. you're going into. You're I'm going talking into, about. I'm talking. Yeah, you in, said in, there in, will be. That's most, not guaranteed. This, it's not guaranteed. It's, it's not a guarantee, but it's the, it's, it's a general scenario. It's most of the time they will know you. No, no when you're applying for a job on Indeed.com, no, you're not applying you? for a job. I'm talking about applying for jobs, bro. I'm, most How of the time, who are most people applying for jobs? They haven't got a job already. Or they come, or they, or, 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 or they just graduated. Gradu- either graduates or people that are in some go. sort of employment. Yeah, but it doesn't mean go. they're in employment in the sector that they I'm not talking in. about those people. Yeah, but I'm talking about, but most people looking for jobs, most people looking for, or not, okay, a, a large percent of people by looking the way, for jobs. By the way, if we're talking about uni, you should, if we're talking about uni, like, Ideally, you want to get yourself to a position where you've done an internship or whatever, yeah, too long. Yeah, or on. and they've and they've they've liked you or whatnot, and they've asked you to come back for a permanent role. Wait, you don't want to. You don't want to. I said if you're going to, if you're already in uni, yeah. you want to be a position. You want to be in a position where they've already got where you've already got a role allocated. It depends if you want to go into the, that. If that's what you want, then yeah, I get. If you want to go for a job. In, if you're doing that computer science and you want to be on a tech firm, then ideally you want to be have a job waiting for you when you come out. Yeah. Yeah. Not always though, because not everybody wants a job when they come out. That's that's the fact. Not he doesn't want a job when they come some out. Some people want to travel. Some people want to do their own things. Some people want to. Yeah. Fair enough. Because after three years of education, some people want to break. Yeah, there's different. Things. Fair enough. So fair like enough, like, like but anyway. So you don't. So going back to what I'm saying, you don't want to be in a position where there's a box that needs to be ticked and you can't tick it to make it as simple as possible. That's one. And you do not want to be, yeah, that's, that's to be because I've lost the trade. That's, that's the main thing. And this is not me saying this is the only way to do it, but what, that's why, that's why I'm going back to make, making sure I'm saying it generally that, that is the, those are the pros. I'm not saying there's not cons. This is not me saying there's not cons. And this is not me saying there's not alternative ways. But at the end of the day, when you, when I'm talking, I'm talking at the person who I, just have to assume that you're not 
part of the 1% of people or the 5% of people that are this determined and this creative and this, that at the end of the day, the safest, most, the safest route to securing a good, stable life, factually, when you look at the, the, the people in certain types of jobs and number, in, and the amount of them that have degrees is having a degree because that's what the, that's what the statistics say. Them facts are whack. Them statistics. That's the, them yeah. statistics are crap. Okay. That's it. Okay. Go on. That, that's what's your final closing. I have nothing more to say. What's your final? I have final? nothing more to say. I've okay. said all I've had to say. That's nonsense. Well, to me, that's nonsense, isn't it? Let, let us know. Nonsense. Think that. I don't let support. I don't support going to uni to study a degree just for the sake of it to end up with a job or to to think that it will get you in a better place if you don't know what you want to do doesn't that to me just doesn't make any sense but each to their own that's just my opinion yeah. i don't think i just um, wouldn't do that i don't think um especially yeah. with i'm bear in mind fees are going there's even talk about uni fees increasing <laughs> as if nine thousand a year is not enough yes. for for even last year doing nothing like my sister had to pay nine grand she's not attending no classes she's she she's not she's not even living in a in a uni accommodation and she has to pay the fees yeah so uh, to me, some of it's just a bump. Now, on the other hand, if you're doing, like I said, yeah, if you're doing a specialized course, then you just make the best of it. You've got to, you've got to excel. It's um, it's a part of a religion. Mm-hmm. Excellence. Mm-hmm. Do what you have to do, and yeah, get your degree. Put yourself out there. Make connections. Do an internship or two. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, do the bite of jollof. Yeah. Um, 40 of 40 40 yeah, from yeah. over now we right yeah I can see it there where it's on your bookshelf oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, assalamu alaikum um, yeah so just coming back um, with a quick bites of jollof which I'm just going to quickly input here because I don't think I was going to have to do it but um, as you heard earlier um, I just wanted to touch quickly on innovation um, bid'ah um, which is which basically means for those who don't know um is is uh, any any practices. any new anything that's brought into the religion so kind of a new practice um or a new act which is done uh intending to, to, seek, the, to, to seek the pleasure of allah get close to allah as an act of worship that has no basis in the religion so it's new um and that's something that's known as a bid'ah which is a big uh which is a big no-no in islam essentially because um uh as I'll touch on later, there are conditions for acts of worship to be accepted. Um, so there's a hadith in Imam Anawi's 40 hadith. It's the fifth one. Um, and this is known as a, as a qaida, so like a, um, a principle, firm principle, not al-qaida, don't worry. Um, it's <laughs> as a principle in our religion, um, which is, um, so this is narrated by um, Aisha, uh, Aisha and, uh, um, and the hadith reads, man ahtatha fi amrina, and the ba- that basically means um so an authority of Asha um Radilo and her she said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said he who innovates something in this matter of ours, i.e. Islam, uh, this is this th- that is not of it, so that is not from Islam, will have it rejected by Allah. Um and this is in um this is um in Bukhari uh, and Muslim. Um uh, and essentially so with to kind of break it down, in Islam, for our actions to be accepted, there are two conditions. The first of which is something that is called ikhlas, so sincerity, so kind of having firm intentions, so doing it purely for the sake of Allah. And the second um, thing that is required for an act to be accepted in Islam is that it needs to be a legislated action, i.e. it's not a bid'ah. So um, the name, for the, the word for this in Arabic is um, a mutabi'ah, yeah, mutabi'ah, yeah. Um, and that essentially just means following the sunnah. Um, and in, the scholars kind of put conditions on this mutabi'ah. Um, and the six of them, I'll run through them really quickly, are uh, the reason. So, and this basically means that on these six conditions, they have to be in line with the sunnah. So um, the first of which is the reason. So the reason has to be the same as which it was legislated for. I.e., uh, and they couldn't, so i.e., if you're going to, Pray, for example. So if you're praying, the reason for this act of worship to be accepted, the reason that you're doing this prayer. So if I'm going to pray two rakah, 
that I can't pray to rakat for a reason that is not legislated in Islam. For example, I can't say I'm going to, every time I walk through a door in my house or I enter my house, I'm going to pray to rakat because that's not legislated in Islam. Whereas if I said I'm going to pray to rakat every time I am, um, when I enter the mas- into the masjid, that is uh, that is something that's legislated in the hadith. Uh, that is uh, that is something that's accepted. The second watch, which is going to be the type, e.g., uh, so um, this is called the jints. So, for example, doing uh, you know obviously either Adha's coming up, so people are going to be doing udhya, so they're going to be slaughtering, doing the sacrifice of 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 a cow, for example. If I just decided I'm going to slaughter a horse, the jints of this is incorrect, so this would be a falsehood. This would be a bidah. Um, the amount, so if I was doing, say say we have uh, wudu, the sunnah, you know, you're meant to do one, two or three times, wash your face, for example. If I was going to say I'm going to wash my face four times because, you know, I want more blessings, mm-hmm. that would be a bidah. The fourth of which is the how, um, so the the, the kefiyah. Um, so e.g. if I'm going to pray salah and I've decided, you know, the, the salah, is, the sujood is when I'm closest to Allah. So I'm going to have my head on the ground and I say I'm going to pray, um, I'm going to do sujood first before... Um, for um, Ruku because it's more important than the how of which is, is, is been made up this is a falsehood so this would be bidah. Um the time e.g. you know Maghrib just came in but maybe because uh, I wanted to pray with my brothers um, before I left the house I said I'm going to pray Maghrib before the time comes in for Maghrib um, that would be that would be a, a bidah as well and that would be a rejected action and lastly the place so you know if I said um, you know Ramadan was there I said I was gonna do it to Kaf, and I said I'm gonna do it in my house, you know, in my in my back, in my in my garden. I'm gonna build a tent. Uh, that place of which is 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 not what's legislated. The legislated place to do um, it to Kaf is in is in the masjid. So that would be a uh, a bit there. So just to recap, um, the six things that would make something um, the six kind of uh, pillars of something being um, uh, something being a mutabira um, is gonna be the is the reason. The, 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 the type of action, the amount of the action, how you do the action, the time of the action, and the place of the action has to be in line with the sunnah. And on top of that, the ikhlas has to be there, the sincerity. And for all those to be in place, uh, all those need to be in place for an action of worship or act of worship to be uh, to be accepted. So that was my little bite off. Jolof, anything, of course, as always, I've said that is uh, incorrect is from myself and the shaitan. Anything that was from the, everything that's correct is... It's from Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, Jazakallah for listening, man. That was a... Jeez, a little bit of Um And with that, so we're going to sign up because it's Maghrib time and we need to pray at the correct time. Um, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Stay safe.